hello welcome back to Lenny studio this is a paint over because my paint separated here and so now um, I put pouring medium and different stuff in it so I'll see how that works so that should be better it's my white paint but I always use house paint but I don't usually use the gloss like this is but I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a, a ring pour on this just because I can see what my paint is doing so first of all I'm going to put what color am I going to do well I'm going to do this greeny blue because I really like it which you probably already know that and I'll put a little bit of this white in it just a touch and some of this bright yellow I love this color yellow and this is a metallic but I'm going to use some of it anyway because I want to put my orange in there it's kind of a it's a metallic coppery rust color and I've got this nice orange I want to put in here. I hardly ever use orange because I, I'm i always shying away from the orange. But this time I'm going to do the orange. And I'm going to do a little bit of the chocolate brown. I'm going to put a little bit more white in here again too just to break it up. Oh, and i got to put my gold in. I have to put gold in everything as you probably noticed and I'm going to put a little bit of this brown okay that's just about enough paint I think so is there anything else I want to put in here I think that's all Oops. losing my cups okay so I'm going to pour this out yeah that should be enough first of all I'm going to mix it to, I'm going to do a little swipe through it because my paint is fairly thick so the reason I'm so in love with ring pours they never crack I don't have much problem with cracking anyway but still it's it is a problem for some people and thicker paint you can you can spin it off it's not so watery Oh, look where my brown is. It's going to all be on the outside and it's going to be gone. Oh well. Same with that green. I'm going to put a little bit of that green along here. Let's see how that looks. A lot of this is going to be gone, but at least it might be through the through the painting this way. Okay, that seems like that's good enough. So I just want to do a little little spins because I don't want to fly in all over the place. And this is kind of looking like these these one of these conglomerations of colors that I'm not that fond of. Unless it does something wonderful. Okay. Now, this is a perfect example of why I don't like using orange. Because I never get it to look really good. So I'm going to try and run some of this off in on some directions. There isn't much paint to go though, but I'll try to get this blue off that I put on there because I thought it needed more of that blue green. Now 
no, you know, I really hate that, so I'm going to paint over it again. This is going to be two coats on that one thing. But I might just, I think I'm just going to scrape it off right here in the garbage, so don't go anywhere. I'll just be able to do this. I really don't like those colors. I have to just take orange off of my, my list of colors because I really don't like it. All right, start again. Start again. Okay, I'll get a new cup because I don't want any of those colors to go back in it. Okay, this was an experiment to do some brown stuff, but I really, I think maybe I'll do one that's just the brown and neutrals because I did like that. Look, so in a ring pour, that might look good. Okay, brown. Oops. Dark gold. Oops. A little bit of white. And this uh, cream color. Okay, then I'm going to use this taupey brown. And this here. I don't know what this is called. It looks like a beigey brown to me, but it's kind of got, I put pink in it too, so. And I'm going to put some uh, off white. Oh, I got way too much paint here. Well, that's okay. I'm going to make it, I'll make it full then. And then I'll do two with this. Like this. And more gold. And brown. Okay, well, if I only pour half of that out, that's assuming I'm good enough that I can figure that out. Then we'll see. I should have enough for two like this. And that's okay, I'll do that. So now I've got to keep track of how much is, gets poured out on this one. For this one, I'm going to do it by hand, so I have more control over what's happening. Well, I like the middle part of this, right here. And I like the gold that's showing up in it. The brown is going to be kind of a hit and miss on this one, I think, but... Okay, I don't want to get this with a big wow in the middle, but this should be easily be enough to go around it. This is looking all right. I like these colors too. It's all neutral colors, but I like them. Come on, go all the way down. Okay, I just have to do this bottom part here. I'm kind of liking it. There's this one part here, I don't even know why it's got that little bit of color in it. I guess it's one of those, I guess it's a creamy color one. Okay, 
There, I like that one. I really like it actually. I like those neutral colors and it turned out way better than I thought it was going to. The other one I think will be better because it's got the last of the colors in it, but I do really like this effect I got here. I really like that. So that's a keeper. I was only going to do four today, but I'll probably do five today. But, okay, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the drive results.